these three best Town Hall 12 attack strategies you will want to use so you can guarantee yourself three stars in your wars. Let's start off with a harder attack, the Zap Lalo. You're going to be starting with the lightning spells and you're going to be using them to get some sort of value. In this case, the attacker decides to use the lightning spells for the Queen, Sweeper, and Inferno. So you want to wait until the Queen is right in position. Using two lightning spells for a Sweeper, on alongside being on top of her, and then using the four lightning spells left over to use them on the Inferno and the Queen. Getting rid of them and knocking them out. This is a very good play for you to do, but that is not the only one you have. You also have six lightning spells and no earthquake that can get rid of both the inferno and the queen. Alongside, you can also use seven lightning and one earthquake on something like an ego artillery if the inferno is not in the core of the base and you are guaranteed to remove the enemy queen with your heroes. That is really how you want to use the lightning spells and that's really the guideline that you should follow. At the second part of this attack is then using your hero die. This is going to be going in for something of value slash also creating the funnel. In this case, the attacker is going in for the Eagle Artillery and the Expos. But what he's also doing in particular is taking advantage of this spot right here by removing the Teslas or at least removing most of them and clearing a funnel for the Lava Loon portion. It makes it very simple as you start to work yourself through. And of course, if you can get rid of the enemy queen with your hero dive, then you don't need to bring headhunters. But usually it's nice to bring them, especially if you're going into something like the enemy barbarian king. Now, in terms of the lava loom portion, I want you to take a look at the base and take a look at air defense placement. It is by far the most important thing. And if you notice, it's in an L shape. So typically what I would recommend is using a couple groups. So you want to make sure that you have one group going in for a particular air defense, and then you're going to be sending in another group. That's how you really want to think about it. And as you start to work yourself in, if you're not comfortable with going in away from the town hall with the lava loom portion, well, this is going to give you that edge. Using the poison and freeze to deal with the enemy CC, using the grand war and ability and haste to get through the town hall does help a lot. At that point, you've also got your other spells that you can use to get them over to other defenses like a leftover Inferno, maybe another air defense, Wizard Tower, etc. You do want to make sure that you've got cleanup though. Minions are going to be your biggest help. Not only that, is a Baby Dragon a good option in the CC? A Dragon is also a great option in the CC for cleanup. That is why you bring them alongside balloons. That's why you never always just bring all balloons. You don't need a battle blimp with this attack either, and you could pretty much just use a stone slammer to clear through some of it, get a little bit of funneling set, and allow your balloons to have very easy pathing as they work themselves through for a very simple and very strong attack. Another option is the traditional queen charge hybrid. Considering that you do want to make sure that you're using a queen charge, typically you want to make sure that you're charging in for something like the town hall. Now, is it recommended that you go in for the town hall every single time? No, but if there is an area of high concentrated DPS, like in this area here, chances are it is better to go ahead and use the queen charge in this area, especially since the town hall is surrounded by some other heavier point defenses alongside some expos. So you do want to pay very close attention to that. So you do want to try and create the funnel, something like Sneaky Goblins, Baby Dragons, maybe even a Yeti can also help create the funnel for your attack. As you start to work yourself in, you should use the Rage spell, and if you're going in for the Town Hall and preventing it from hitting your healers, use a Freeze. Make sure that you're able to start moving yourself through, because what you're doing at the end of the day is funneling. And in this case here, as an example, using the Barbarian King and the Siege Barrack helps create this part of the funnel. The Queen has already gotten rid of this area of the base, giving you some easy pathing like this, so you have some simple pathing already set for your hybrid. So now as you're working yourself in, you should use an early heal spell. If there is an enemy Queen, bring a couple Headhunters, they're gonna really help. If you're dealing with an enemy CC, 
typically it's better if you just use a poison spell and a freeze spell. That's really how you take care of super minions super easily. Now, sometimes you may get lucky and also have the healers switch to your hogs and miners. This can play incredibly well into your hands, but it really depends on really where your hybrid is at that point in time and if the healers are even going to survive through the rest of it. It's still very nice and you may still have those hog riders from the siege barrack that will help support. Usually what I said before is go in for the enemy CC, but usually you want to look for an area of high concentrated DPS and you, then you want to really help create the funnel. Like I mentioned, you want to make it very simple for your hybrid to go from one side of the base to the other with an easy L-shaped path. Very similar to the Lalo. That is how you really want to consider it. Then you'll have enough cleanup. Unlike the Lalo where you need the minions, you've got cleanup already from the miners. You've got cleanup from stuff like the wizards and P.E.K.K.A. if you keep them alive. That is the reason to why this is a really strong attack. And you've got your queen, of course, which if she stays up for the entire thing, you should be able to get a three star really nicely. And you don't really need to worry about super minion CCs, just like how I showed how to deal with them. Last but not least, we always have Zap Witches. In order to use this, you're going to be using the Lightning Spells against two adjacent Infernos, no matter if they're set to multi or single. Typically, you want to use four Lightning around an Air Defense and one Earthquake to remove them. This does help a lot in terms of pathing, but also just removing other structures very easily easily without having to go ahead and use just the lightning on just the infernos then you want to start sending in your super giants or golems and then your witches you're going to use these super giants in more of a semi-circle with the witches and then you could also bring some other support units such as the use of super wizards if there is some heavier chainable buildings on the outside or you can bring super witches if you want some extra tankage. Overall, you then want to be able to make sure that you're dealing with the enemy CC, sending your heroes in, and of course, using your log launcher. In this case, the log launcher is able to open three buildings, the third inferno, the eagle, and the town hall. These three buildings are super dang important. And you want to make sure that you're getting rid of them. In this case, there is a lot of witches that are spread across, but having tankage from stuff like P.E.K.K.A., Ice Golem, maybe anything on the outside with like the Super Giants, that can really help a lot. As you can see from here, as they work themselves down, while they don't necessarily have a jump spell to get them into the Town Hall, that's fine. Because what you've got at the end of the day is enough of a push from one side of the base, which could consider to have more Witches, especially if you have like a Barbarian King or a lot of tanks, and of course, your Archer Queen going in and dealing with the Town Hall, along with something like a P.E.K.K.A. and Ice Golem. This offers you a ton of value, and typically, you really don't need the Grand Warren ability. You can actually swag the Warren ability if nothing locks onto your Log Launcher. If the Log Launcher does get locked on, however, use your Grand Warren ability early. You want to protect it for as long as possible. Other than that, it is a very simple three-star attack strategy, and by far one of the best in the game, alongside the Lalo and the Hybrid. So if I were you and choosing any of these three, choose your favorite, and also choose exactly what the base is going to offer you. Which of these three is your favorite attack? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell for more content like this if you want to see some more in-depth breakdowns for attack strategies for Town Hall 12 or even for a more general audience. Consider also using my code, Code Corrupt, before purchasing the Gold Pass, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Corrupt, signing out.